little kids, little boys and girls, you used to admire your favorite superhero. Can you tell me who's your favorite superhero? And let me just give you a few examples for you to pick. I'm sure you are quite familiar with this. Okay, for those who have no idea who are these people, either you are too old, <laughs> don't tell me who you are, or you are too young. Now, can I share with you who's my favorite superhero? Sugar, spice, and everything nice. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girl. But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, Chemical X. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born! Using their ultra superpowers, Blossom, Bubble, and Buttercup have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil! And could you still remember as it was yesterday, when I was only 7 years old? Every single Sunday morning, we have Powerpuff Girls series. And I can still remember it's 10 o'clock in the morning. And every time I ask my mom, Mommy, can you tell me what's chemical X? She'd be like, I don't know. And I ask her, how do I get it? She couldn't tell me the answer. And I went into school. I asked my teachers, could you tell me what's chemical X? I have no idea. I went to NGTV school, University of Technology Fresh Class UTV. I asked my lecturers, can you tell me what's chemical X? No idea. And it was one fine day, back in the year 2008. It was exactly this place. It's in Chancellor Hall, and I was walking past. And it was during the cold war patient ceremony. And I peeped across the window, and I saw, wow, there is something called a Chancellor Award. And I told myself, four years I'll be there. And guess what? After four years, I had this crazy dream. You know what's a vision board? That you place all your dreams there. Now this one big vision board in my room is orange in color, and right at this spot here, I pasted the picture of Chancellor Hall. That was back in 2008. Guess what? After four years, <laughs> and you know what's the feeling when? Let me just tell you this experience of mine. You now I have this one board in my room, and ever since I got this award, when I got this in my bed back room. And I turned and I saw that picture. You know the feeling that you think done? Wow! But my chemical life journey is not ending yet. A few months after that, I was in this place. I went to an orphanage home. It was in Klein Kappa. And I was walking into the room. And across the room was this lady in the 50s. With a bright smile, Wesley, come in. Could you all imagine yourself? Being a dialysis patient, both kidneys fail, and you have to do treatment, and it's not here, it's not the jab. You have a tube as big as a pen poking across your stomach. Three times a day, 20 minutes each time. How would you feel? Painful, isn't it? At that situation, could you imagine yourself still helping other people? I saw this exact treatment here. Her name is your guest. To all these seven fingers right here, she is a superhero. To me, wow, first time in my life, I saw a superhero. And in my mind, I knew she had chemical X. So I asked her, can you tell me what made you so successful? What made you so happy? What made you so fulfilled in life? And all she told me was, I don't know. I just know what I do. Come on, I came all the way from Global One Hour to Clan. Can you tell me you don't want no? Of course, I did not tell her, but in my mind, I said, Should there be another answer behind? And I continued my search. And I continued my search. I'm a trainer, a speaker, and an author. So, in my journey, I'm fortunate enough, I've spoken to more than 30,000 students in schools, universities, colleges to cross like you. And I asked all these wonderful people, successful achievers across Malaysia, and I asked them, what made you so successful? And all of them give me the same answer. I don't know. I just know what I do. And my next question was this. How do I map chemical X? Instead of just saying, I don't know. I love what I do. Could there be an answer behind? And there was my search. And to share with you this. This is the one finding that I found out. Successful people don't like what they do. But they love what they do. Could you all imagine when the first time you fall in love? Oh my god, the butterfly moments. <laughs> yeah. And then all these feelings, like, one thing 
talking about these successful people. What is life and what is love? But could you tell me why you love your parents? I don't know. I just love them. That's love. No, no, no. Okay, let me just ask the guys. Really, tell if you are guys, please, man. Now, when your girlfriend asks you this question, why do you love me? That's the toughest question. Worst. That's even worse. That's even worse. That's what Rejected? 
You are the best engineering student in UTP, one of the best in Malaysia. You tell me, you don't want to be an engineer? Yes, Dad, I want to be a speaker. I want to change people's lives. I feel mean, so wonderful doing that. And they sat back. They stood up. I don't want to meet you anymore in my life. Not any senior second law. Have you ever felt moment in time that you were lost? You didn't know what to do. At that point of time, I have two options. Number one, to leave other people's street. Number two, to leave your dream. And there are some times in life, you have an angel and demon in you. And the demon beside you that says, just give up your green breast just be an engineer. By the point of time, for this lady, there was this angel beside me. And she whispered beside my ear, stay faithful to your dreams. And that was what I did. And you might ask me, what happened after that? And the year after that, I could still remember, this was 9 o'clock in the morning, on a Wednesday morning. I was driving to the school. It's SMK Bandar Sri Damansara in Kobo. And I was driving, and all of a sudden, where's my phone? Dad? Hi, Dad. What? Why are you crying? I'm sorry. This was what happened. And he said this. And I can still remember his voice. When he said this, it's as if I could feel him in front of me touching my hand. And he said this. Son, I'm so sorry. Whatever you do, I will always be proud of you. I remember this one quote, when you do the best, God will handle the rest. And that's what exactly I did. Listen to your own voice, to your angel, and ask what you really want. Be authentic and listen to your own values. Then I ask all these people, is it enough to be original? No, you must have a vision. And this is the exact next point. V is vision. Now, do you know what vision is? It is like a world in you that you imagine is so real. Uh, if you know Martin Luther King, he once said, I see a world, I have a dream. Little white kids, little black kids, holding hands playing in the playground. He has a dream. Can I share with you my dream? Every single day when I wake up, I see a world. People like you right there. From the front to the back to the side, I see people like you. Every single day when you wake up with passion, with energy, with vision, with life. And I can see people like you excited to go to work, to be in business, and you have this enthusiasm, the excitement feeling that you have. And I believe all of you have felt the same thing before. And let me tell you one truth. You are the best person to see clearly on anyone else. That's why people say successful people are crazy people. Because why? Right, they can't see your vision. You are the only person who can see it. When you have M, when you have O, when you have V, comes the next element that this is the most important part. When you have chemical X, you have N. And I can still remember when I meet all these people, and they like they are superheroes, you know, and they have so much energy in there, and they transmit to you. You know the moment when you felt like, <coughs> that Iron Man like, and they all have that. And this is how they wake up, and this is how I wake up early in the morning. Not smoothing. When you jump out excited with energy, it's because you love what you do. Isn't it true? Some people ask me, so so you you have told me how to map chemical X. So how do we find chemical X? And I ask all these people, and I realize this one thing. Initiation starts from inspiration. And I ask all these people, what inspired you to become who you are today? And they all brought me back to memory of childhood, you know, that chemical X moment, here and there, na, 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 na. And allow me to share with you a story of this person. Now, his name is Mr. John. He is an English tutor, and he left UTP at the year of 2011. Many of you might not know who it is. Now, he's an English tutor traveling across the world only to teach English. Back in the year 2009, this was the exact rule. Block penetrate. For those who are my 
Facebook active early to snap this picture. <laughs> and I can still remember this. If you are with me the time that you will find me in this room of 40 students. Uh, these are all my peers. Can you pay student, EE, and all the things that they are all there. And it's a course called Professional Communication Skills. Public speaking class. Um, it was a persuasive presentation. You have to present a uh, product or services to convince the crowd. So many of the people did having more Starbucks, having more hostels, you know, having more whatsoever. And me, the last one that day, I was about to present on the topic the secret the law of attraction. And Mr. Jones stood there, and he welcome. Let's welcome the last speaker for today, Mr. Wesley Chan. So walk in the middle. And for the first 10 seconds, I was extremely nervous because it's something beyond the watch, something else. At the end of seven minutes, half the crowd was stunned. At the back of that room, and I saw Mr. John. And he said this one quote that changed my life forever. <laughs> Day you are born and the day you know why. 